In this video, I want to do this problem, which was asked uh, in NCA Level 2 exam of 2014. So here you've got two graphs. One, this is a graph of g of x, and this is a graph of g dash x. So in simple language, this is the graph of y equal to something. And this is the graph of dy by dx. OK. And the question is, find the value of m, which is the y value of the maximum turning point of the function. So this point is the maximum. And by looking at the graph, I can say it is 1 comma m. So you want to find what's the value of m. Now to find the value of m, uh, we have some information. You have to use that information to figure out the equation of this graph and then differentiate it, set it equal to 0, and then find the value of m for the value of x. So now just looking at this graph, which is a cubic graph, I can say the general form of a cubic equation is y is equal to ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. Okay, and if this is the general form differentiating y with respect to x, you can say the derivative would be 3ax squared plus 2bx plus c is the derivative. So let's figure out uh, uh, we have to first figure out a, b, c, and d. Okay, so looking at this graph, one point that I can plug in in this equation is y is equal to 0, 0. So I'm going to put, if you plug in this into this equation, I can say 0 is equal to what? x is also 0, so this is a is going to be, this first term is going to be 0, second term is going to become 0, third is also going to be 0, so d is 0. Okay, so you can just ignore d. So the derivative is dy by dx is 3x squared plus 2bx plus c. Now what is this? Uh, this point is 0 comma 3. So this 0 comma 3 means when x is 0, when x is 0, dy by dx is 3. That's what it means. Because this is the graph of the gradient function. So on the x-axis, you've got x. And on the y-axis, you've got dy by dx. So the y-coordinate represents the derivative. And the x-coordinate represents the x. So this coordinate tells me when x is 0, dy by dx is 3. So if you plug it, plug it, plug, so I substitute this into this equation, I can say uh, 3 is equal to what? 3a times 0 squared, so that's going to be 0, this is going to be 0, so c is equal to 3. Okay, so this whole equation now, let me change color, so this whole equation now becomes y is equal to ax cubed plus bx squared plus 3x. Okay, and your derivative is not going to change. Uh, oh, yes, it's, it can change because you know c is 3. So now I rewrite dy by dx is going to be 3ax squared. Let me drag it to this side, 3ax squared plus 2bx plus 3. Okay, now what can we do? So plus, plus not c, plus 3, because c is 3. Okay, so now, well, when x is this point, let me use a different color, this point is 1 comma 0. And this point is 3 comma 0. So what are we saying? When, so let me do the working. So when x is 1, 
dy by dx is 0 dy by dx is equal to 0 so let's put this in this equation so 0 is equal to 3a times 1 squared is going to be 3a plus 2b times 1 is going to be 2b plus 3 so this simplifies to let me write an equation so 3a plus 2b is equal to negative 3 so let's say this is equation number 1 okay what's the next information the next information is uh, let me do the working here so let me drag it to this side so the next information is when x is 3 dy by dx is again 0 dy by dx is equal to 0 so if you substitute again back into this equation this is going to be 0 is equal to if you put 3 here yeah, 3 times a times 3 squared so 3 squared is 9 9 times 3 is 27 a plus 2 times b times 3 is going to be 6b uh, plus 3 so this simplifies to 27a plus 6b is equal to negative 3 now you can divide the whole thing by 3 so if you divide this by 3 this by 3 and this by 3 this simplifies to 9a plus 2b is equal to negative 1 so this is the second equation okay so let's rewrite both these equations so well I can say let me use a black color so let's write the bigger equation so 9a plus 2b is equal to negative 1 and uh, 3a 3a plus 2b is equal to negative 3 now solving for a and b so if you take away so this is 9a take away 3a is going to be 6a uh, 2b 2b minus 2b is going to get cancelled so you can cancel this and this and this is let me show the working of this here so this is negative 1 take away negative 3 which is negative 1 plus 3 which is going to be 2 so 6a is equal to 2 so we can say a is equal to 2 over 6 so a is 1 over 3 so the value of a is 1 over 3 now we have to just figure out what is b so we can use this equation again let's write the equation second equation 9a plus 2b is equal to negative 1 so if you put 9 times 1 third is going to be 3 plus 2b is equal to negative 1 okay so let me scroll it up so taking away 3 from both sides 2b is equal to negative 4 so you can say b is equal to negative 2 okay so we're almost there so we know a is one third b is negative 2 and we already know c is 3 c is 3 yeah okay so and we also know d is 0 so we can say the equation is y is equal to ax cube plus bx squared plus cx plus d so putting the values of a b c and d you can say y is equal to 1 over 3 x cube plus uh, plus uh, plus b is negative 2 so you can say plus negative 2 is going to be minus 2x squared plus cx and d is 0 so so this I can write as y is equal to same as x cube divided by 3 minus 2x squared plus 3x 
is the final equation. Now the question is you have to find out m where m is the y coordinate of the maxima. So we know dy by dx for maxima for maximum we know dy by dx is 0 dy by dx is equal to 0 so differentiating that I can say dy by dx we could have also used the direct formula of dy by dx but let's differentiate this again uh, dy by dx is 3x squared divided by 3 minus 4x plus 3 and that I'm going to set equal to 0 so so this 3 and 3 gets cancelled so you got x squared minus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now factorizing it, putting them in brackets, so x take away 3 times x take away 1 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 3 or x is equal to 1. We already know when x is 3, y is 0. How do I know that? If you look at the graph, if you just look at the graph, this point is the minimum, which is 3 comma 0 so and this is a way to check whether the equation is right so this point is 1 maximum is 1 and you have to figure out m so you have to just put 1 back in the equation okay so I'm going to put 1 x equal to 1 in this equation so I can say y is going to be 1 over 3 take away 2 plus 3 which is 1 over 3 this is going to be plus 1 so this is going to be 1 and 1 third so to be exact the value of m is 1 and 1 third okay. in other words you're getting the maximum you're getting maximum at 1 comma 1 1 third and the minimum is 3 comma 0. Now we need to always check the answer. So we know this equation. If you have a graphic calculator, you can check these two points. So that will also confirm whether your answer is right. So this is my calculator. Okay, so let me bring it back. So I'm going to enter, go to graph, and type in this equation x cubed divided by 3 minus 2x squared plus 3x. Just draw it and here's a graph. So the maximum is 1 and 1 third so go GSOL and maximum 1 and 1. This is 1 and 1 third. 0.33 is 1 third and GSOL minimum. So you got the turning point at 1 and 3 and that's what it says okay so if you go back to the question the turning points are at 1 and 3 when the values of x are 1 and 3 and that's what we got here the turning points are at 1 and 3 at these two points or at these values of x you've got the turning point or the gradient is 0 